Hey guys, uh, today's the day we we'll get to see uh, what's going on here with this uh, OSFO SPI epoxy. Uh, so yeah, welcome to the torture chamber. I've got uh, I didn't get any comments on what you guys wanted to see as far as trying to tear this stuff off here. So uh, I've got a hammer and some pliers, and uh, I even got an air tool with the. I'm gonna run that and see. Uh, a couple other things and uh, probably get a screwdriver out here um, and just uh, start torturing this stuff so um, yeah and I've got uh, I've got the sheet out here that tells me which panel did what and what we did to it and all that so uh, I'm gonna set you up to where you can see the table and see what I'm doing and um, then I'll uh, I'll bring you back All right, guys. I got the table cleaned off. I've got all my torture devices in a different area because I figured if I start hitting all this stuff with a hammer, stuff's going to start flying off this little table, and uh, that wouldn't be good. So, basically, what I've got here is uh, panel number one. I think you can see that. And what we've done is this is the panel that I put uh, the OSFO down, and basically just wiped it off didn't clean it off didn't rinse it off any of that just left it to where there would be residue underneath this is the one that was going to fail if we we're going to have one fail um and then of course i put the bondo on top now i let all this stuff you guys watch the videos if you did you know i let this stuff cure out for a week um did follow all the directions like i was supposed to now <clears throat> when i came out here a while ago i thought i'm just gonna see let me see if i can find my Sorry about that. I took this uh, screwdriver and all I did, because I put a little bit on the edge right here. Hopefully you can see that. All I did was went like that and hit it. Okay, when I did that, these pieces right here chipped off. And uh, let me see if I can get you, show you. If you can see that, that's primer that's stuck to the Bondo, okay? Here's where this chipped off. That's bare metal right through there. So literally the primer and and this is the one that had osfo under it. So do this again. Yep. Okay. That piece right there, that's clean bare metal. Well, not clean, obviously got osfo on it. But this epoxy does not stick to that osfo. Now this is SPI epoxy, so it says do not put acid stuff underneath it. So now you can see why. Um, I didn't hit that that hard, but obviously, you know, it's enough to get that to, to completely peel away uh, down to the bare metal, and that's pulling the epoxy off. Now, I expected maybe the Bondo would break loose off the epoxy, which I'm hoping is what happens to the other stuff. Um, but... Not going to work on that obviously i'm going to have to do something different for this but i'm going to grab something try to pry under it or peel it up or something uh, i do have my safety glasses on uh, you can't see my face right now but you probably don't want to anyway so uh oh okay now you just saw what just happened there literally i just slid underneath now look at this That is not good. Um, yeah, we don't want that. So that right there alone for me is enough to know that I'm not using OSFO underneath this and having any residue. And like I said, we're gonna go to the next one and see if you know if the ones I rinsed off, see if it does the same thing or different. But uh, yeah, that's that's not gonna cut it. You do not want that to happen to your paint job. Uh, so let me uh, let's try this one. I've been kind of wanting to try this one. Let's try this little guy right here. Got a little point on it. Yeah, that'll be fun. Let's see what happens here. Yep. 
Now, obviously, you're not, no one's going to ever do this inside of your car. Uh, if they did, you'd probably kill them. Same deal. Primer. So, we know that the Bondo sticks really well to the primer, but it doesn't stick to the surface of the metal. And that's been 80 gridded, um, but then again, Osfo, just remember that. So, uh, bad, bad, bad. We don't want that. So, there you go with the first one. That was number one. That was the one we I thought was going to fail, and it did fail. Exactly like SPI said it would fail if you used an acid underneath it. So... There's test number one. Yeah, every piece, none of it adhered. Literally none of it. All of it came straight off. Um, all of it. Straight to the metal. And the metal looks just as clean as it can be underneath. Uh, but obviously it's got that acid residue still and that allowed it not to stick. So, um, let's see what happens next on the, the number two panel. All right, this is number two. See that, number two? Did the exact same thing, except the difference on this one is I rinsed the Osfo off of the panel really well, blew it dry, the whole deal. Uh, now, each one of these I did use waterborne wax and grease remover, but I let them sit for 24 hours. Uh, also air dried them, so that, there should have been no residue from that wax and grease remover whatsoever on, on any of this. Plus, like I said, I rinsed these with water. So, uh, let's, uh, let's do the same thing. Let me, uh, kind of try to chip at this a little bit. Just break it loose. Okay, that piece just broke away, just literally. All right, that just shot across the room. That was the Bondo. Um, right there, that little piece right there just shot across the room. The epoxy primer is still, is still there. Okay, so just the Bondo came loose. I'll try to break some more loose like that. I'm gonna use this hammer this time. That's some tough stuff, guys. Holy crap. Hey, let's try this one. All right. That's the same thing I just did while ago to that other one. You got green, green. That chunk just come out of right here, and the epoxy is still there. So, We'll play with it a little bit more, but obviously the Osfo made a huge difference. Um, this still has, this was rinsed, it was 80, the whole deal, just like the manufacturer said, and it's holding just like the manufacturer said. So that's fantastic. Um, and obviously, like I said, this is pretty extreme. But hey, if we're gonna do it, let's do it right. Um, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but yeah, I didn't figure it would. I don't really have anything to get underneath it, so. Uh. <laughs> All right, that, had, that hadn't even phased it, and that's a pretty big-ass hammer I'm hitting that with. Okay, one little piece just chipped off there. Uh, let's hit that from the back side and see what happens. Yeah. Uh, it looks like it might have cracked in the middle. Let me hit it again. Uh, no, not yet. Well, I've got a little crack right there, but it's still not coming loose. All right, looks like a little piece came off there. That piece came out of right here, it looks like. And the epoxy 
as you can see, is still down. Uh, the Bondo just came loose of the epoxy, and I'm knocking the hell out of that. I mean, that's, like I said, that's extreme right there, so. Um, uh, well, high five on the Bondo and the, the epoxy. I, I, I'm, I'm digging it so far because that's pretty amazing. I mean, I'm beating the hell out of it. Epoxy is still down. Bondo, come loose. Um, so, and obviously you're never gonna put that thick of Bondo on there, but if you did, you see how what it'd take to get it off. And still the epoxy is down. So that's pretty damn amazing, I gotta say. Um, I'm pretty impressed with that product. So, and obviously the little fish eyes didn't have anything, you know, to do, because there's fish eyes all over this little panel. That didn't affect this test at all. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome, guys. I mean, I hope the camera's picking that up. Yeah, that's awesome. Literally, I have not penetrated that epoxy yet, even with this screwdriver. Uh, let's just try it on the regular. Man, I hope you guys can see that. And that's what it took to get through the epoxy, is to sit there and scratch it, scrape on it like that, which this is sandable epoxy, they say, too. So, I mean, obviously, you can sand it off. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's number two, and uh, that panel, to me, that's a winner. That's uh, that's pretty amazing. Um, I'll put that over any kind of, any car you want to give me. That's um, I'm impressed to say the least. So, all right, um, that's panel number two. Let's try panel number three. Panel number three. What did we do here? Uh, all right. This is the one that we, we cleaned the panel, waterborne wax and grease remover. We sprayed the Osvo down, we scrubbed it with Scotch Bright, we waited 24 hours, re we reapplied the Osvo till it was wet. Then we waited five minutes, and then we re rinsed this with water. Now, SBI says if you're going to use their epoxy and use acid under it, the only way that you can make sure the acid is neutralized is to reactivate it with a osfo which is what I did and then rinse it really well they want you to make sure it's wet and then rinse it because acid supposedly is the only thing that will reactivate the acid to allow it to let loose from what I understand you guys can correct me if I'm wrong on that but from what I understand the way I understood it that's that's how it was so basically this should be just like the last panel um, other than the fact that I put more Osvo back on it, let it sit for five minutes, and then rinsed it. But when I let it sit for five minutes, it still stayed wet, so it never did dry on the panel. So, all right. Uh, let's see. What other fun toys do I have here? I'm kind of digging the air tools pretty well. Uh, you can tell I'm a fireman. I love breaking shit. Uh, that's kind of what we do is just go in and break stuff <laughs> now I'm using the claw of that <laughs> and it's I mean I'm hitting it hard and it's just just barely chipping into it so and this is um, Evercoat Rage Gold it's that filler that's it that turns green it's pretty Pretty impressive. It's pretty expensive, but uh, uh, obviously it's that's some good stuff right there. Um, and no one's paying me to do this, by the way. This is just something I'm doing because, like I said, I'm doing this for a buddy of mine on his car, and I want to make sure this shit doesn't come flying off when we put this, you know, paint job on it and all that. Uh, and so, yeah. Let's 
try this little chisel point deal here and see how it works out. Seems like the air is taking it off pretty good. The hammers are just kind of denting it up some. But uh, let's try this, try under here a little bit. Okay, piece just come loose. Solid green, solid green. Piece that chipped out right there is uh, the SBI epoxy underneath, and it's it's good to go. It, it didn't it didn't even remotely come loose. So that's pretty impressive. So obviously re-wetting it with Osvo, as long as you rinse that Osvo off good, from what I'm seeing here so far, uh, you're good to go. I mean, literally that piece just flew off there and it's, uh, it's still got the epoxy underneath. There's, you know, just a little bit of green uh, filler still stuck to that epoxy, but the, the that big chunk just flew off of it, so. There you go. Uh, still got the epoxy down. Just a little light film of the, the filler that stayed on there. Um, very impressive, guys. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Like I said, I love tearing shit up, so. <sighs> yeah. It looks like it's holding pretty good. Um, so, yeah, as long as you rinse it off, it looks like that's the key if you're going to use Osmo underneath it. Um, so the very last panel, that was number three. The very last panel was uh, panel number four. And what I did to this one was basically just gave it a tooth, literally. See, it says I clean the panel with waterborne wax and grease remover. Uh, I let it sit overnight and uh, 80 grit scratched it, cleaned it again with waterborne wax and grease remover, and then primed it. Uh, waited 24 hours, then I put the, the filler on. So, this one has no OSFO whatsoever on it. Uh, this one is strictly tooth uh, <clears throat> and the chemical reaction of the Bondo with the filler or the Bondo with the primer. <clears throat> uh, since this is working pretty good, I'm gonna stick with it. There we go, thank you. I'm gonna let loose there a little bit. Yep, okay, if you guys saw that. Uh, just the Bondo came off, so we're good to go on this one too. That's uh, That epoxy is stuck to that like nobody's business. It's almost like it was made together in one piece. Uh, very impressed. That's why I cleaned the table off because I knew shit would start falling everywhere. But uh, yeah, I mean... Look at that, guys. I mean, I don't know if you can tell how hard I'm hitting this, but I'm coming way up. Now that's distorted to metal, bent it. You can see that. And that stuff's still hanging on there. Looks like a couple of little pieces. See those little funky shaped pieces in the middle? Those came out. Epoxy's still underneath it. Didn't break that epoxy loose. Um, so yeah, that's what it took. And the Bondo's still hanging on, or the filler. Um, and so you guys take what you want from this, but uh, I'm a fan. Uh, I'm a big fan. Um, 
you would destroy a car doing what I just did to it. Literally, you'd have to get into a car wreck to, to have it. You know, and obviously, even if you got in a car wreck, it probably wouldn't let loose. Um, I'll tell you what, let me, let me just do another thing here. I'm gonna take this and bend it, like in half, I guess, and see if that epoxy, what it does. Ugh. Okay, you see where we're at now with it? Uh, epoxy is still hanging on. Hadn't split yet, so I'm gonna crease it completely in half and see what happens. Still amazing. Uh, <laughs> Not even touched. Um, yeah, that stuff is still on there. Um, <laughs> that is awesome, guys. Um, like I said, I'm not getting paid anything to do this test. No one's you know, sponsoring this or nothing, but uh, just trying to do it just to see if the product's gonna hold up. And man, uh, I guess don't get this on your skin, it'll never come off, huh? Nothing. Completely, completely smashed it in half and bent it. So, um, I think I'm gonna cut the video there because we obviously uh, we know what's gonna do, and uh, the one that we thought was gonna fail or I thought was gonna fail failed, and uh, just like they said it would, and uh, the other ones. Well, there you go. I've got a shitload of putty to clean off the floor, but uh, yeah, that's awesome. Well, I hope you guys got as much out of that as I did because uh, I definitely won't be afraid to use this stuff and even the Osvo underneath uh, as long as you rinse it really well. So there you go. The only one that fell was the one that, uh, and it failed pretty good. Uh, pretty pretty easily actually and that was the first one and you guys literally watched how that that piece those pieces just come right loose so yeah that's um don't leave that also on there at all if you're going to use it so all right i appreciate it guys and uh let me know what you think